Christy from birdmentor.com where I teach advanced skills to beginning birders and thanks for joining me this morning. So this weekend I had the pleasure of hanging out with my 90 year old birding friend. Now don't let that number fool you because she is more agile and active than most people half of her age. Well we were out on the river and we were watching a pied billed grebe go by um, enjoying it for just a little while when all of a sudden this J-sized dark bird flew by and landed on a nearby cottonwood tree. So I walked her through a series of questions to help her figure out who that bird was for herself. And when she finally discovered who it was, she looked at me and she said, now wait a minute, Christy, you knew who that was right away and you didn't even use your binoculars. How did you do it? She said this to me like I was some sort of a magician or something, which I'm not. And uh, what I'm about to reveal to you right now is the secret behind why many birders appear to have magical abilities or to be able to pull a uh, merganser out of their hat. <laughs> now, it comes down to just two factors, really. The first is knowing the seven questions to bird identification, which I teach in my bird mentor course. And the second is the numbers game. Now with the first, I'm not gonna go into that in any detail right now because that is something that I've talked about in a number of other videos. But I will say it was the second question, which is what is the behavior that gave me the first half of my magical abilities. <laughs> now, so when we watched the bird fly by, I noticed that it had an undulating or what one of my bird walk participants called a whoop-de-doo <laughs> flight pattern as it went by. Now there's only one species this time of year that's that size, the J size, that has that whoop-de-doo or undulating flight pattern. Any guesses? It's the woodpecker family. All right, so this is where the numbers game comes into play. There are 287 possible bird species in the county that I live in. That's a pretty intimidating number. But knowing that it was in the woodpecker family, that narrows it down to just nine choices. Now, I've just eliminated 278 possibilities. How's that for magic? And then in addition to that, knowing that it had a dark back, that narrows it down to just two species. And then one feature I forgot to mention was that it had a pink or a red belly. And that just narrows it down to just one. So I've just figured out which bird it was simply by knowing a little bit of the bird behavior, a little bit of the size, and just a few markings. Now, I'm gonna leave this up to you to see if you can figure out which woodpecker that was that lives in southwestern Colorado with those markings. And let, let me know, leave your um, answers in the comments below, I'd love to know. And also, if you can tell me um, what features or characteristics that you've noticed that are diagnostic of any particular species in your area, because I really would love to know. So if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. If you're on Facebook or Twitter, go ahead and follow or like the page. I'd love to have you join us there. And otherwise, I'll see you next week. Thank you for joining me.